I'm getting ready. Hi guys, I'm getting ready for our Christmas party at my my aunt's house, and I am doing. I'm gonna do the mashed potato ball things when I get to my aunt's house because I have to um, fry them. But I'm putting together the anti the antipasto uh, skewers right now. So <laughs> the antipasto skewers has. Oh, Tom, Mom, go upstairs with your dad, please. It's time to get ready. Sorry, you guys. So, um, it has fresh mozzarella. It called for, like, the recipe had salami, but I'm not a humongous salami fan. What I do love is prosciutto. So I thought, let's just do prosciutto instead. <laughs> so I'm doing, um, fresh mozzarella, prosciutto, and then the red pepper, Ooh. fresh tortellini, basil, cut up artichoke hearts, and a mushroom. That's what I'm making. How are you guys? I said I would go live when I decided what I was going to do. I need to... I figure it's going to be quiet. I'm not going to have time to go live on my channel. Probably today. We've got too much going on. Got way too much going on. Hi guys! trying to do I was like oh I'm gonna work out today which I did and then I'm gonna go to the store then I'm gonna go get everything so that I can make my stuff and then it was like one o'clock and we have to leave here in an hour is anyone else is anyone else like that you have to like rush to get things done I don't even know if people eat fresh basil, but it says to put it on here. And I've got these little animals all, be all beneath me trying to eat up the scraps. Oh, I won't have a lot of time to go live. I'm probably not going to go. I don't think I'm going to go live on my channel. Hey, come on. Come on. Let's go outside. Come on. Sweetie, come on. Let's go. Go outside with your sister. dogs outside so in the middle of all this chaos you guys we had my dogs up in my office and the dogs ate my print they got into my printer ink I did not get to my PO box today you guys I have been swamped I'll probably get there on it depends I'll probably get there on it won't be open tomorrow I'll probably get there to, on uh, Thursday I know I have gifts to wrap and I don't and some of my some of my husband's gifts haven't even arrived yet. I'm like freaking out. I hope they say I just checked Amazon and they said they were gonna be here by nine o'clock tonight. <laughs> but normally we um normally we exchange gifts um on the evening of Christmas Eve and then we just let Christmas Day be all about my son opening gifts. Um, but that might not happen this year. So. It's doing appies with Katie. Appetizer time with Katie. It's appetizer time with Katie. Can I just say, like, all the ingredients in here are super slimy. I know, I never, ugh, I should have been up at like, well, I was up super early, you guys, but then I 
did not, I think I putzed around a little bit too much this morning. I spent too long not getting in my workout and then putting on makeup and putzing around on the interwebs. Our Christmas days, like, I know it's like Yule or whatever, but the morning of December 25th is always very crazy. Around here. My son is going to be like up at the crack of dawn. Prosciutto is always so sticky. Yule Tide is the, it's like the pagan celebration of the season. It's like coincides with winter solstice. It's like what the season used to be before the Christian faith adopted it as Christmas. So a lot of the traditions that we do, um, that Christians do for Christmas, are actually derived from pagan traditions of celebrating the winter solstice. So it's basically just a winter celebration. And we just celebrate it on the same day and time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my family, my extended family is Catholic. So, um, I don't know, my family's just never really gotten out of that, even though they don't go to church anymore. Um, They've just never gotten into, out of the habit of celebrating. Because I think once you celebrate your whole life, you just sort of do it. My mom went to Catholic school. Went to, um, I was confirmed Catholic. So I think you just get into the habit of it, even if you don't celebrate it. So she's trying to say her whole family is, is, is pagan now? The history is definitely there. She's saying that they, don't, they still celebrate Christmas there. So. But I understand for people that are Christian, this is a really big day tomorrow. So that's it. What? What's that? What's that? What's that? It. The, why is the chat? I don't know. She said, "That's it." Hi, Joe. I hate getting my hands sticky. My dog is scratching at the door. Oh, Chris Tucker. I was looking for you. Did you change your Instagram? I was looking for you earlier this week. Can you DM me under that account? Continuing Catholic race traditions. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, once you get into the habit of doing it, you just don't, I don't know, even if you don't go to church, it feels weird not to celebrate because you do it your whole life. When we were kids, we would go to church on uh, Christmas Eve and they had a Christmas, they'd have a Christmas pageant at the church. And then it got to a point where we were too naughty. <laughs> We'd have to sit up in the balcony and we would be so loud and so obnoxious that my um, my aunts and my mom and my mom would be like, "All right, we're not doing this anymore because the kids are so out of control." So once we got older, we stopped going to mass, and that really frustrated my grandmother. My grandmother was not happy with that. Does anyone else have a? Anyone else grow up with, like, a Catholic grandma? Ooh, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I just like celebrating. It's fun. Hi, Jesse. How are you feeling, honey? Do 
Jesse has a stomach bug. So yeah, my grandma was very much a Catholic grandma. So if you have a Catholic grandparent or like a very devout um, Catholic grandma, you know all about it. When you stop going to church, it's like a humongous deal. Huge. Yeah, my grandma every year would be like, why aren't you going to church? Jesus still loves you. And I'd be like, Grandma, I just don't want to go. Then my grandfather passed away. And then at his funeral, the priest told us that we were all going to, the priest told us that we were all going to hell because we were not going to church, which was what my grandfather wanted. And he would be horrified. I was like, thanks, guys. So you announced the fucking male God. You know? Yeah. Yeah, my grandpa's funeral. My grandma was like, you broke, you killed your grandfather because he had a broken heart because you didn't go to church anymore. And I was like, Grandma, that's not very nice. He died of congestive heart failure at 89. So, I mean, he did have a broken heart, but it definitely wasn't because I didn't go to church. But that was like how she spun things. She was just all about the guilt. The Catholic guilt, 100%. Some of my family members on my dad's side still go to church. Nobody on my mom's side anymore. I think some of my cousins might go to like Lutheran or Methodist churches, but I don't think anyone goes to Catholic church anymore. grandma when she was really got older she lived in a in a senior living facility which was called saint Therese, and it was a catholic um facility and so she would go to church she would go to mass every day and when she couldn't get to mass um the prep the um the priest would just like come to her and pray with her. I inherited all of her rosaries. Oh my gosh, she had so many rosaries. So many rosaries. And I never learned how to pray on the rosary, to be honest. Even though I was confirmed, no one ever, I think I must have like zoned out during that period of time. My mom was Catholic. My dad was Episcopalian. Or Presby... Episcopalian. No, Presbyterian. I don't remember. Episcopalian. Which I think is Pentecostal, right? Is that Pentecostal? <coughs> you have a fa- My husband loves crosses too, Chris. It's the same thing. He loves the ornateness of all of that history. (laughs) They do look super pretty. Every time I went to a bunch of cathedrals when I was in Spain, because that's like where all the big, gaudy, humongous um, cathedrals are that's where the Spaniards built all of their cathedrals when they were like basically owning the rest of the world and the amount of gold in those cathedrals is so obscene like just think if they would have used that other stuff for you know people 
instead of ornateness in the cathedrals. But the cathedrals are pretty. This makes so much. My grandma passed away, I think, oh my gosh, three years ago, maybe. So the last time I had anything related to Catholicism was her, her, uh, her funeral. And the priest for that, the priest for my grandma's funeral, he was really nice, super nice, really nice guy. Um, not at all, like, no guilt, nothing about the family not going to church. Um, nothing at all like that. Just very chill and um, very respectful. I'd say the only, he threw holy water on my grandma's casket, which they didn't do at my grandpa's funeral. So that was different. Yeah. Thank you. My dad said he just wants to be cre cremated and then we can throw him out to sea or something like that. He likes to scuba dive, so I think he wants to be scattered in the ocean. I am making um, uh, antip antipasto um, skewers. So it's fresh mozzarella and then prosciutto. And then roasted red peppers, and then fresh tortellini in a balsamic and olive oil dressing, fresh basil, artichoke hearts, and a green olive. at least need to be old enough to what you're dedicating. Oh. I feel like in the Bible, it's baptism is about recognizing your birth in Jesus, right? I think in some, in some churches, they don't do baptism until the children can decide. My dog wants in, but I'm not letting her in because she has a bunch of printer ink on her paws and I don't want to deal with them running around right now. They're going to be cooped up for the rest of the day. She'll come in in a little bit though. Catholic Church, confirmation is kind of like acknowledging and becoming an adult and deciding if you're going to pick to remain in the church. So I was definitely confirmed. I went through confirmation, but I did not stick with it. I only, I don't really even remember a lot about my confirmation, to be honest. Yeah, some churches do baptisms at birth. Some um, some churches, I think they do dedications where they just, the parents promise to dedicate their children and teach them. Whatever you do is right for you. She's been outside only not that long. 
Merry Christmas from Dublin, St. Uh, Mary Yuletide to you. You want those skewers? Um, these are for sure. They smell super good because of the basil. They're super messy, and I don't. Do any of you have like? I don't believe in the afterlife. I do not believe in the afterlife. But if you do, I'm okay with that. Fresh basil. I'm about to run out of. <laughs> I honestly don't even know who's going to be at this family event. This is like with all of my cousins that I grew up with and all of their kids. This, what we're going to today is crazy. It's called the wild, <laughs> my aunt calls it the wild rumpus. Like, you remember from the wild things, the wild rumpus? where the wild things are that's what she calls today because it's so there's so many kids it's so loud it's so chaotic but the kids have fun Jean my that's my husband or my my dad he um he actually had us they did get married in the catholic church because that's what my grandparents wanted so then they had to, my dad had to go through like classes and then he had to agree to let, to raise us in the church. season porch that's off her living room that is quiet and so if Vaughn gets overwhelmed he just goes into that porch and he watches his iPad with his daddy or with me or with grandma and papa I'm not gonna lie we've definitely had a few meltdowns when we've been at this thing more of this I'm going to do. There's so many. I feel like I'm almost done. about why I became an atheist so I'm not going to answer that question but I respect everyone's right to believe or not believe I don't think you really decide I just think you either know or you don't know 
And that's kind of how I came to it. Hi, Amanda. I am making antipasto skewers with fresh mozzarella prosciutto, roasted red peppers, fresh tortellini, artichoke hearts, fresh basil, and olives. All right, I think I'm done. That's enough. Or maybe I'll do. There's so many. There's always just so much like dip when we go there. So I was like, you know what? We need to have something that's not dip. Every year there's so much dip. So much cheesy dip. <laughs> I was like, we need to have something not dip. My what my cousin Amy always brings like a one of those brie things, those melted brie bowl things that like you you put the brie inside of a bread. Oh Jesse, I know this is not a good time for you to be sick, huh? I'm almost done. I'm only going to do a few more of these. Ugh. This is like super slimy. Can I just tell you this is not a pleasant experience for me? I hate having slimy things on my hands. I hate having my hands wet. You made fudge, yum. That sounds delicious. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go. My son is done in the shower and he's not gonna want me to be talking. So I hope you guys have a really good day. I don't know if I'll be on later, but if I am, I will see you later. Have a great holiday if you're celebrating. Bye.